All right, so we're going to demonstrate using the strap today in dolphin and dolphin plank, or forearm and forearm plank. Um, the strap is an amazing tool to really get the shoulders in alignment and really cultivate that strength that you need to hold yourself up if you ever want to go upside down or just really, if you don't even want to go upside down, but you just want to be able to stand up straight. Um, a lot of times our muscles and our shoulders are weakened just because of our lifestyle. We lean forward, we're driving, we're working on the computer. So coming to a yoga class to really be able to open up is going to be huge. All right, ladies. So notice how they have the straps, especially with Elizabeth. I've got her wrapped the straps around her biceps, and it's just enough space so that her arms are right around her, um, right underneath her shoulders. You can lock the strap. Make sure it's locked. Okay, and there's a way to do that. So, ladies, go ahead and come on forward into forearms. So, bring your arms into a number 11 and spread the fingertips wide. Yep. And then go ahead and come on up into dolphin. So, just dolphin is just like downward facing dog, only you're on your forearms. So, Kath, walk your feet forward just a little bit. Yep. And then push your body back like you do in downward dog. And then let your head hang, even if you're touching the strap with your forehead. That's kind of a good gauge. Good. Perfect. This is great. So now, what happens here when we use the strap, go ahead and push back just a little bit. Yep, right there and breathe. Um, what happens here uh, from the cultivation of the strength in the shoulders is notice how Elizabeth's hands have come together. That's because we need to work on the muscles in her upper back. So Elizabeth, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but we're going to help you with this. Bring your hands about uh, two inches away from each other. Yep, open them into that number 11. And then what the strap does is it keeps her shoulders right where they need to be. So she's going to notice if there's a looseness in the strap or too tight, but this is really going to help her cultivate the strength in her shoulders that she needs and in her arms too. Good. All right, ladies, let's come into dolphin plank. So come into dolphin plank, walking your feet back. Good. And they both have really great alignment here. But what we see a lot of, Kathy, I'm going to use you a as a demonstration, okay, is a TP, right, or a hammock, right. We want to be a dolphin plank, right. In order to do that, we've got to cultivate the strength in the quadriceps. So please kick back through your heels. Mm -hmm. Squeeze your quads, pull your belly in. Good, now stay there and breathe. And just, I would like you to demonstrate one more thing for me. The other thing that we uh, experience is the shoulders coming forward past the elbows. This is painful, so I'm not going to keep her hair very long. You want to shimmy the feet back so that the shoulders are directly over the elbows. Good, nice job, ladies. Take one more breath. Yep, and then release, and I would just release your body straight down to the floor. Mm -hmm. And you can go ahead and push back into child's pose. You can release the strap, whatever's easiest for you. You can just come out of the posture. Sometimes it feels good to go into child's pose and then clasp the hands behind the back here just to kind of stretch them out a little bit. Good. So highly recommend the strap. And if, again, if they don't have a strap at uh, your gym or the yoga studio where you're practicing at, or even if you have a home practice, just go ahead and purchase one. It's going to make a huge difference for you. Thank you. Again, I'm Dana Leon. Thanks for watching J Fitness. You can find me at DanaLeon.com or the Yoga Tree House here in Camas, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to the weekly newsletters at the very bottom of this blog post. And please do check back next week. Thanks again. Have an awesome day.